New addition to the shop today is a direct drive drill press. Nova Voyager. Uh, these are pretty fancy. I've never had a drill press that includes a USB port before, nor did I ever expect to have one. However, what this offers is pretty awesome. Now I've still got the uh, China's finest chuck that came with it here. Um, I have an Albert on the way, and will be here tomorrow, but I wanted to put this together uh, first, make sure that the freight delivery arrived safe and that I didn't destroy it putting it together before uh, putting that on. So that'll be here from McMaster tomorrow. And in the meantime, I have the stock Chinese chuck and arbor and I'm going to measure run out at the arbor. Um, I measured run out on a half inch drill bit in the chuck and it was about seven thousandths. But it, you could noticeably see the chuck, you know, moving around a little bit. So either it's not seated perfectly, which, which is possible, you know, I did a okay job, but it may not be seated perfectly. Um, or more than likely this thing is just all bonkers. And the the arbor may be bonkers too, but um, I'm just measuring it here because it's the least I can take out of the equation. I guess I could measure directly into the receiving portion of the uh, quill. Uh, that probably would be more accurate to the drill. But here, look, let's run this. And we'll run it at its lowest speed of 50 RPMs, which in itself I think is pretty awesome. 50. <laughs> nice and slow. So, yeah, I... Uh, I could measure it in the quill, but I'm getting less than one thousandth of an inch of run out on the Chinese Arbor. And I, I cleaned it with uh, mineral spirits and, a, and an, old, an old cotton shirt. So, you know, it might not be seated wonderfully either. It was nothing that I uh, intended to keep in there for any longer than until that German chuck arrives. So, wow, I'm impressed. Looking forward to using this. It's got a tapping feature where it, it stops at your set depth and reverses. Pretty cool. You know, probably just use these presets. it will do like pick guard screws, um, probably a uh, Forstner bit for hogging out material. I don't know, maybe you know, something for bridges, eh, we'll see. But I'll probably just use those mostly or just run it manually, but no pulleys, direct drive, brushless. I think they said coilless motor. I don't even know how that works. Oh, well, fancy days. <laughs>